Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the first episode of Ueno Sun Wa Bukiya. Now, this anime, I am reacting to it because it won my seasonal anime poll over on my Patreon. A poll where $5 tier patrons or higher can choose an anime to be on the poll, and then dollar tier and higher can all vote on it. And that was what caused this anime to appear right here on my channel, so... I do that sort of thing every month for whatever the current season anime is, so... If that interests you at all, my Patreon is linked in the description, yeah. But, yeah, this show. What do I know about it? Well, I believe it's a comedy anime. The, the, the description says something about a girl that's in love with the concept of falling in love and builds inventions or something like that. So, yeah, that sounds like it could be fun, I suppose. Now, from what little things I've read about this show, I get the impression that it's kind of a, a vulgar comedy sort of thing. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll see if that's the case. But uh, since this is a new anime reaction series, I have to explain how I do things. I do not show the full anime footage and audio in the video itself for copyright reasons. If you want to grab your own copy of the anime and sync it together with my reaction for the audio viewing experience. I do show you enough footage to see the subs down here and a timer up there to make that easier. Or just to follow along in general if you can't be bothered to do any of that. So, let's get into it. 3, 2, 1, play. Experiment number 1, Rocker Coon. I believe that's Ueno with the uh, twin tail. So what's... Ah, oh, there's another member. <laughs> An invention? Cool, question mark. That is pretty cool, yeah. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that's a great way to test it. And she just said it was purified. Don't be such a wuss. Yeah, what's the problem? <laughs> it's kind of a roundabout way of getting the guy you like to drink your pee, but I guess whatever works. I don't think there is. I think this is necessary. Oh, he actually admits being a baby. I thought for sure we were going to get a penny shot there. <laughs> yes, hold it there. <laughs> uh, You're not helping, Ueno. Well, do it anyway. That's actually a good point. Are you gonna drink it? Or have her drink it? <laughs> okay. Like I should not pick, he just wants somebody to drink her pee, you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, then it was probably good. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. We're all club members here. <laughs> yes, that's the entire point. And she likes you, Baka. The blushing. Duh. <laughs> Not your typical, you know, love confession scene, but... It should be pretty obvious, man. And yet you seem surprised. Sure, let's look at it that way. Well, it doesn't matter unless a guy you like drinks your pee, that's the whole point. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure plenty of people would pay for this privilege, man. Just do it. She worked hard to make it, you know. Like, it was a multi-step process. You gotta spill it. It is not gross. <laughs> You're just gonna hurt that poor girl's feelings.
Yes. No, you're the one acting weird. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a mistake and route. Such judgmental friends. Yeah, so I'm sure he'll drink it eventually. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> uh will he actually have drinking nets? I hope so. No. He is a dense wuss through and through. Seriously, what is your problem, Tanaka? Read the mood. <laughs> How much more obvious can a girl be than to give you her pee to drink? I mean, does she have to spell it out for you? <sighs> well, don't waste it. Somebody drink it. I don't know. Oh wow, that's an approach. She clearly likes the costume route. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're in quite a predicament, aren't you? What? No need. No need to convulse on the ground. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Yeah, I I would do that too. Experiment number two. I no, I wasn't even thinking about doing that. <laughs> you really expect him to play along? Uh. Ooh, birdie. I mean, sometimes. Fair enough. What's it do? Okay, that sounds wonderful. What did it do? <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... I mean, there have been anime that have done things like that, so... Uh, sounds like an amazing experiment. Oh, I'd be, be, be sure to take notes. <laughs> Did you even look? She blind back there. Don't be so sure. Well, this is for science. Cooperate. I know, right? What is wrong with this man? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's thoroughly hidden. What if you, like, stuck your head into the skirt? Would you still be able to see that? Like, what if you take the skirt off entirely? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I guess she was had faith in this experiment. <laughs> uh, 
We already established this guy's office rocker. <laughs> uh, oh, 90 degrees. We're definitely getting there now. But as you've established, you're not wearing any, so we'll never see them regardless. <laughs> playing the fool, yeah, just playing. Man, you could get lost in there, sucked into a black hole. Well, to be fair, your eyes are closed, so to be expected. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> You know, yeah, that. Yeah, please be specific. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> if only he was doing that on purpose, that'd be amazing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> they do. I didn't know that. There's no way this guy's actually this stupid. <laughs> yeah, you know, for educational purposes. Oh, there we go. That changes things a bit. <laughs> that was a scream. But of course it had to end it right when it was getting to the good parts. Just drink it, man. Ooh, swimsuits. <laughs> Who are those two? Raise half of the love umbrella. Okay, well, that was the uh, the first episode of Weno San Wa Bukio. And the show. I mean, uh, the synopsis des described her as, uh, you know, in love with the concept of falling in love, which I didn't see much of that really demonstrated here. It was just, you know, she clearly was trying to make a pass at our main male character there, Tanaka, 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 something like that, you know. But uh, he he was just not having any of it. He definitely is blatantly a uh, dense protagonist sort of character, like, extremely so. Like, I don't know how obvious a girl has to make it to you that she's coming on to you. Like, when she offers you her pee to drink, like, that's a pretty strong hint that she wants to be more than just friends. You know, in my experience, personally. Maybe that's different in different cultures, but I just that's just my take on it. But, uh, yeah, she had she made this fancy device to filter it to make it completely safe and, you know, great to drink, and he just, just wasn't having any of it. Like, she gave him this full-on, you know, sob story type deal, you know, and he still just refused to just drink it down. I, I don't know why. But, uh, I don't know what she sees in this guy. He clearly is just not worth the time of day, really. But, you know, even the other character, the Yuki Nagato character, drank some of it, so... I just, I don't know what his problem is. But yeah, I mean, the premise of the show, they seem to have... be all in the same science club, only three of them. Ueno, Takana, and the other girl, you know. And the other girl, I don't know how much relevance she'll really have. She just seems to be kind of in the background. Like, during the whole... During the, the skit after this, she basically did nothing but, you know, wear glasses she couldn't see out of and wander around, so... I don't know how much she'll actually be doing, uh, you know, in the show. But, you know, she is there. Because it's kind of being a third wheel. But, yeah, the first skit was fine. The second skit we had was kind of... She made an invention to, like, be... Make a void under her skirt. 
you know. And, you know, there's been stuff like that in anime before where they, to, av to avoid panty shots, it just had to be very, very, very dark under the skirt, unnaturally so. I haven't watched at least a couple of shows that have done that. So, you know, it's kind of picking, poking fun of that concept a bit, which was, that was, that was pretty nice, pretty funny. But just as usual, Tanaka, just, he just not having any of it. He doesn't get excited from any of the things that he should be getting excited about. So I don't know what Duena is really going to be able to do with this man. But she did get him to cooperate with the experiments of trying various camera angles to see how effective her new invention was. And it seemed to be pretty effective for the most part. He never got to see anything, you know, while it was active. And she was so confident in her device, she actually went full on Nopon, which was great, you know, as all girls should be. But, uh, you know, it didn't make a difference to him because he couldn't see anything until he turned it off. And then when he finally could see something, the audience couldn't because, you know, the camera moved away and the episode ended and we didn't get to see any of the fun bits. So that's how it goes sometimes, though. But yeah, I mean, it was a short, so obviously not a whole lot to say on it. It was only like 12 minutes long. But, I mean, the show as a whole, it was, you know, fine. I would say it was fine. You know, but, uh, uh, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say on it. But, it wasn't bad. You know, the art style, I'm not a big fan of. And our male character here, I'm not a big fan of either. But, you know, Ueno is, uh, she's a fun character to watch, you know. I do like her. Determination, enthusiasm for her experiments, that's definitely enjoyable to watch. And uh, I feel like well, one of the big fun parts of the show will be just seeing what new inventions she makes for various skits, because that's obviously there's a lot of potential with that, you know, only really limited by the author's imagination and creativity of what they could do with that. And this one, we had a filter, you know, a, normal, a pretty normal device, but he managed to take that in kind of a lewd direction. And then the second device was a void maker, whatever you'd call that. Which, again, was taking a kind of a lewd direction. So, yeah, it really depends on how much creativity they have, you know, what they could do in the future, how enjoyable the show will be as a whole. But, you know. But, yeah, even the uh, the cover art for the show itself, you've got to end up kind of pulling up her skirt. So, we already got to that scene pretty early on in the show, like just the second skit of the first episode. So... Yeah, I'm definitely curious exactly what future Shin invention shenanigans will be like. I'm curious how much of a role our uh, bookworm-looking girl will have in that. We've seen other characters in the ED and stuff, or OP, whatever that was. So they might be able to shake things up a bit, you know, see how that goes. But uh, yeah, I would say the first episode was fine. That's kind of how I would describe it. So... Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.